All right, now we have the um, the mechanics started for the boss. Uh, this has been the uh, ultimate goal of this game. Is basically your your uh, your goal is to defeat the other players and make them your wraiths to bind them. And that there's since there's eight players, that means you might have seven wraiths. You up well, yeah, you'll have seven wraiths on your team. And then uh, as soon as you have everyone defeated and you're the last player, everyone is teleported here to the middle. And you'll fight a boss. So um, now the mechanic is in place. It's not. It's not at any way, any way, like pretty or how it really should be yet. But if I go ahead and defeat all the other players, or if um, my raids defeat players, that's what's great about binding raids is that they fight for you. So your um, as soon as you bind one wraith, even that one wraith starts going off and attacking other players, and they, um, if they kill someone, they will that. Uh, that person will be bound to your team. So it's kind of like you're delegating um, the process out to your teammates in a way. So um, as I'm this uh, sort of teal green color here. Um, let's look. There's only a few more players. Let's cheat and kind of like run around fast. Okay, there we. Um, my other Rays defeated um, uh, enough player, all the rest of the players, so everyone's on my team, and we got teleported here to the middle where a boss appears instead of that whole maze cube thing. Now there's now this boss. So, um, once again, it's really not pretty. There's really needs to be a lot more awesomeness happening, like maybe some fog appears and the boss teleports in or appears out of the fog or crawls up out of a hole or does something rad, and there needs to be more explanation to the teleport, like uh, maybe um, maybe your character actually uh, moves a little slower through the teleports. You can see what where the movement is actually happening. Um, anyways, there just uh, there needs to be a lot more visual stuff going on to explain what the heck's going on. But we have the mechanics in place to now um, to defeat uh, to actually complete a match in in the victory condition that I've been been intending for this game for a long time. So um, this boss doesn't have any AI yet, it's just sitting there. But if we go and kill it, we will, um, we will create the victory condition and that will, that will uh, trigger the end of the match. Um, you notice none of the bots are uh, fighting the boss yet. Um, they really should be, everyone should be attacking this boss. And I'm imagining this boss will be bigger with lots of pieces and it'll be a really fun fight for eight different players. Maybe, uh, maybe there's like eight or nine different pieces of the boss. So there you go, we defeated the boss, and victory. So, anyways, that's it for this video, just working on the boss mechanic, and that's all for now.